Welcome back ladies and gents. Before I start this beautiful topic, if you look at the corner over there, there's a red subscribe button, make sure you tap it and subscribe to my channel. In this video, I'll be looking at 8.3 sketching curves. 8.3 represents chapter 8, section 3 of the Pearson A-Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 2 textbook. Now this particular section is all about sketching any given curve C for a given domain of T. Here's a past exam question. The curve C has parametric equations x equal 9 cos t minus 2, y equal 9 sin t plus 1, and the domain of t, ladies and gents, is given over here. t is more than or equal to minus pi over 6, but less than or equal to pi over 2. Part A, find the Cartesian equation of the curve C. First of all, the Cartesian equation of the curve C is just an equation that connects y and x. The very first step is to write down the parametric equations. So I've got y equal 9 sine t plus 1, x equal 9 cos t minus 2. The second step is to make sine t the subject in this equation and cos t the subject in this equation. So if I do this, I obtain the following result. Sine t is equal y minus 1 all over 9. I call this equation 1. Cos t is equal x plus 2 all over 9. I call this equation 2. Right, the third step is to write down the identity sine squared t plus cos squared t is equal to 1. So sine squared t plus cos squared t is equal to 1. The fourth step is to substitute equation 1 and equation 2 into this beautiful identity. I know what sine t is equal to. It is y minus 1 all over 9. I know what cos t is equal to. It is x plus 2 all over 9. So if I carry out my substitution, I obtain the following result. y minus 1 all over 9 squared plus x plus 2 all over 9 squared equal to 1. Now, all I need to do next is simplify this particular equation x plus 2 in bracket squared plus y minus 1 in bracket squared is equal to 81. So if I look at the Cartesian equation of the curve C, it represents a circle center minus 2, 1. And the radius is equal to square root of 81, which is just 9. Moving on to part B, it says sketch the curve C on the given domain of T. Now, ladies and gents, I want you all to focus on the domain of T over here. So T is more than or equal to minus pi over 6, but less than or equal to pi over 2. So I've got a negative and I've got a positive. I can conclude that T equals 0 is in this interval. Now, what I want to do is work out the coordinates on the curve C when T is equal minus pi over 6, when t is equal 0 and when t is equal pi over 2. Okay, right, so when t is equal minus pi over 6, I've got this coordinate. When t is equal 0, I've got this coordinate. And when t is equal pi over 2, I've got this coordinate over here. The way I've calculated the coordinates is by substituting these t values into the parametric equations to generate the x and y value. Okay, ladies and gents, my next step is to plot these three points on a coordinate grid and sketch the curve C. After plotting my three points on a coordinate grid, my curve C looks something like that. The curve C just represents an arc of a circle center at minus 2, 1, radius equal 9. Let's have a look at part C. It says find the length of C. Now, if I'm finding the length of C, I'm just calculating an arc length. Before I find the arc length, I'm going to draw the curve C again. Okay, so here is my beautiful curve C. At this point over here, minus 2, 10, t is equal pi over 2. At this point over here, 7, 1, t is equal 0. At this point over here, minus 4 plus 9 root 3 all over 2, minus 7 over 2, t is equal minus pi over 6. Now, if I want to actually calculate this theta over here, that angle, it will just be pi over 2 plus pi over 6, which is 2 pi over 3. Now, to find the arc length, 
I just need to use the formula radius times theta. I know what the radius is, it is just 9. And I know what theta is, it is just 2 pi over 3. So I plug these values into the arc length formula. And if I do this, I obtain 9 times 2 pi over 3, which is 18 pi over 3. And that there is just 6 pi units. So the length of C is just 6 pi units.